Well, hello there. This is Nate with Nate's Manufactured Home Tours. Thank you for clicking on the video. Today we're going to take a tour of this uh, double wide home here at uh, Big Sky Homes in Billings, Montana. I think you'll like this one. It's a nice one. Got lots of nice little features on the inside. Don't mind JJ's Homes there in the background. That's another place I'm going to. We are kind of right next door to each other. But as for now, we are at uh, Big Sky Homes. Do a little quick walk around here, get you an idea of the outside of this home here. This one here is a uh, manufactured home. This one over here that I just toured. Well, this one is a modular, hence the reason why the frame looks different. That one's designed to come off of the frame. So as I make my way around here, it's gonna be your back door here in your mud room. As they call it here in Montana, not necessarily laundry room. So make my way over all this stuff. Get you the back side of the home here. You got your sliding glass door. That's going to be the window over your sink in your kitchen there. to show on the back side but uh, if you don't like the colors well you can always change the colors out again this is a show model so any imperfection you see obviously they'll be corrected when you uh, get the home delivered and set up so they don't have the full trim done on the home here all right so uh, let's come on around and head on in Take a look at the inside. I'm sure you'll like what you see. The first thing we got here, the little entrance foyer. Little gray accent wall. If you don't like the gray, you can probably get that swapped out for something different. Like I said, colors can always be changed in these homes. Got a nice size living room here. Built-in entertainment center. You got your uh, electric fireplace there, recessed. Plenty of shelving in your entertainment center here. Couple of plugs sitting there also, so you can plug your stuff in. Yeah, I'd like to see they got grommets there, so you can run your wires through. No grommets on this side, so that means you got to plug everything or run everything from the other side. And then you've got your your TV area here. And there's that grommet, so your wires will come through, hidden behind your TV. Would like to have seen that be a little bit bigger though. I'm not sure my TV will fit in there. 65 inch is probably too big to fit into that, but they can probably option that in with a little bit bigger area. We'll come back to that kitchen here. It's that sliding glass door we saw on the outside. Plenty of room for a, a six-man table there. Just set up with a four-man table. Again, you got that gray accent wall. You 
Sorry if you can hear my coat rustling. Nice and warm inside the home. They do have the heat turned on in here, but uh, overall, it's uh, chilly. 33 to 34 degrees outside there today. Been kind of snowing off and on. And it's about the 20th video I've done, so my voice is starting to get a little on the horse, on the horse side. And I'm stumbling over my words a little bit too. So as we come over here, we've got the dark gray cabinets. There again, if you don't like the colors, you can always get them optioned out for something different. I do like the overhead hood with the glass on them. I don't know, I think it just looks modern. Got adjustable shelves in there. And you got stainless steel whirlpool appliances. Got the big farmhouse sink. Pull out spray nozzle. There's that window we were talking about over your sink. And once again, we've got this huge island here. So if you don't have enough seating over there, you can always have them sit here. Put a couple chairs there, a couple on that side. Sorry about the squeaky shoes. There's going to be your pantry. You do have the backsplash going part way up your walls here. Built-in microwave, Let's, there we go, get the light to adjust a little bit better. As you can see over here, your backsplash goes way up the wall, almost up to the, uh, the overhead hood. And then coming back over here, we'll take a look at this bridge real quick, and we'll head on into the rooms. Keep in mind this is a show model, so not everything is trimmed out completely. As you can see, but the marriages are pretty tight where the two halves come together. So we do got the uh, square porcelain sink here. Of course, that one's a little bit different than what I'm used to seeing. That one's squared all the way around. Not only in shape, but in depth and everything else. Got that same backsplash on your bathroom countertop here. And you know, we've got the one piece shower tub combo here. Just your average size uh, guest bathroom or second bathroom. And we've got back here. Whoop, there's the mud room, laundry room. Here in Montana, we most people seem to call it a mud room. Got a chalkboard here, not that you can read what's on there, but uh, people have been signing it as they come in to view the home. Here we've got your little coat rack. There's where your washer and dryer is gonna go. Got cabinets above, nice to see a sink over here. That's that back door. All right, where were we here? Sorry about that. Had to pause for a customer to come in to view the home here. So once again, sorry about the squeaky shoes and the just making all kinds of noise today. So as we come in here, we've got the first bedroom here. And there was no light in here, so it's a little bit dark as I first walk in. But once I get turned around and the camera's actually just here, you can see we've got lots of natural light coming in. A good size uh, second bedroom here. Take a look at the closet. Like I said, don't mind all the trim supplies you see laying on the floor. 
This home hasn't been fully trimmed out. Didn't even have the door on it yet. And coming into the second bedroom here, this is gonna be your larger of the two bedrooms. Close to the same size, but this one is a little bit on the larger side. Again, take one quick look at the closet there and then I'll head on down. We've got a coat closet here just uh, as we uh, come into the master bedroom here think if I was going to buy this home I would see about getting this door option to the other side so that I would have it right as I walk in the front door. That way I could set up a little bench there, take my shoes off, take my coat off, throw it in the closet right as I walk in the door. I the master bedroom here. Very good sized bedroom. Got lots of space in your bedroom here. I don't have all the measurements offhand, so when I, I go in and get the floor plans, I'll uh, put up the measurements of the bedrooms as I uh, do the editing for you. And then you got your ceiling fan with your standard lights and. Look at that, we got the freestanding tub. First thing you see when you walk in the bathroom. Lots of windows in your bathroom. Plenty of light coming in here. They are frosted, so you get light coming in, but you can't really see out. Of course, that also makes it so nobody can see in, gives you your privacy. And coming up here. I do like these mirrors with the lights in them. And you've got those same square, squared completely sinks, I would guess is what you would call them. And once again, got a wave to the kid. Of course, I didn't show my face when I waved it this time, but uh, he'll still see that I waved at him. say those of you that are new here I got a six-year-old kid at the time of filming this and uh, every time he sees me in the mirror he waves at me so I figured I'd start waving back at him so that's your not a whole lot to see there just the toilet area but I do like this little cabinet right here for your for the wife's bathrobes to hang you got plenty of towel space Rolled up all nice and neat. Of course, we've kind of seen the shower a little bit. We'll come back and take another look at that. We've got a nice big closet in here. Let's see if I can come back here to get you a better look at the closet. If you need more shelf space, you can always add more. Once again, taking a look at that uh, freestanding tub. And now the shower. So again, this is an all glass shower. Well, mostly all glass. You do got uh, a type of tile on the back there. different kind of rainmaker head there. I'm not sure if these here will uh, spray water also, but you never know. Definitely sprays water out of the top, so that'd be a kind of a different shower. If you know what those are for, go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know what you think. So as we head on out here, if you've made it this far, once again, this is Nate with Nate's Manufactured Home Tours. 
If you like what you see, hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. Share the video with your friends, leave a comment, let me know what you think. And we'll see you in the next one and have a good evening. Thanks a lot. Bye.